Okay, Bola Buddies, it is time for a Dad Planet collaboration video. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, it is time for a Goodwill Bins thrift with me. Oh my goodness, I was there almost five hours. I spent over $100, which is why this is going to be a three-part series. I did meet Dad Planet up there. This is his channel. Definitely go and subscribe to him and wait until you see the item that he found incredible, unbelievable. In the near future, I um, am going to have some videos. I took a friend of mine to the Goodwill bins and she is not a reseller. So those videos are going to be fun. Um, I had her actually source for me. I had her shop the bins for me and I listed those items and I'm going to show you guys what she picked up and what I sold. So that video is coming soon. I've already sold three items that she found. All right, let's get started. Okay, there are some really fantastic finds in this video. Um, this is going to be a three-part video because I found so much stuff. Um, just incredible day at the bins. They were bringing out the bins quickly and um, you'll see just lots and lots of good stuff. I am a hard goods girl. I try to stay away from the clothing but today I was in the bags section and looky what I find here in just a second, a little coach wristlet. Now, is this huge money? No, um, I did put this over on Mercari. I've got that listed at $30 with free shipping. Uh, Dad Planet just found a vintage purse. Um, incredible find. I would have rather have found that, but the little coach wristlet, I wasn't sure if it was real. So I did reach out to my friend Rachel Strickland, and I popped up her screenshot earlier. Definitely go subscribe to her channel. She has a couple videos where she helps you identify if coach purses are, are, are authentic and also Louis Vuitton, and she actually shows you what to look for. I know in my Facebook group, those questions come up all the time. How do I know if this is real? Well, check out her videos because they will help you know if your item is real. But I did check with her on that wristlet and she did say, yes, it was real. So pretty excited about that little find because it didn't weigh very much. It's $1.89 a pound at our bins um, locally. Uh, there's a new bins actually uh, 45 minutes in the other direction from me. And I don't know how much it is per pound there. I have not been up to that one yet. So if you guys want me to go check out that Goodwill bins, let me know in the comments. I think it's cheaper. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go through here. I'm not cutting out any of the footage because I know sometimes I miss things and I feel like uh, you guys can teach me, help me learn of things that I'm missing. And when you put those in the comments, it helps other people learn as well. So I did spend some time in the bags and I found a few things. This here is a Crown Royal uh, flask and I was like, Hmm, somebody might want that. So I did go ahead and grab that. Uh, the screenshots that you will see popped up are my eBay listings. So those items are available currently in my store. None of these items have been up very long because um, I rushed to get everything listed and get this video put out so um, we could uh, get this video put out for you guys. Okay, some of the items in my cart there Oh my goodness, you are going to see footage of that in another video. I found so many fabulous plush items. Uh, I do a lot of plush and toys. Uh, Dad Planet is more, um, he likes like electronics, hard goods, um, clothing, shoes, hats. I love toys. I like vintage Christmas. So we definitely source differently. So you're gonna learn a lot from his channel that you may not learn from my channel. Um, so definitely go sub him up. I will have him linked down in the description of the video. And also please sub up Rachel Strickland. She will be linked down below also. I know she is getting super close to 10,000 subscribers. So super excited for her. 
All right. Now, we are going to talk about some different things that I source and why I source them. Um, a lot of people pass by plush, and I do say that plush can be long tail, um, which means it takes a little bit longer to sell. I did find this cute little hair thing, so it's one of those uh, like rubber band type things that you put in your hair. These are little puppets. Uh, I just, I like toys. <laughs> I think they're fun to list, they're easy to list, and they are super easy to ship and they are plentiful at the bins. I mean, if you dig deep down into the bins, you are gonna find all those little toys that everyone leaves behind, and those definitely add up. And I did meet a viewer, uh, the Tea Garden, so shout out to her. It was super nice talking to you, and that was her Instagram, so go follow her on Instagram. All right, so just really dig in here this little section not finding a whole lot but again i'm gonna leave the footage in i had a few people say that they like just watching people dig so that's what we're gonna do here i do look at, at all the toys sometimes i um, will flip them over and i will look at the brand and if it's not a brand that i'm familiar with i will look it up and decide if i want to get it or not lovies that is called a lovey that is a security blanket pretty much any security blanket I'm going to pick up um, because somebody is going to lose it and the parent is going to need to find it. So that's when those older retired styles come in handy. Uh, these plates, I did look those up. They didn't comp out super high, so I went ahead and put those back in the bin. Um, if you want to learn more about Lovies, uh, the Rebel reseller recently did a video on high dollar lovey security blankets to be on the lookout for. That is the Rebel reseller. Definitely go and subscribe to her. She is incredible. All right, let's see what else we have here. I think in this video, there are two things that I already sold, which is crazy because um, literally these items have been up less than a week. So anytime something sells in less than a week, that's super exciting. Um, I did pick up these, uh, there were two of them. One was still sealed, one was not. Anything new old stock, I'm gonna pick it up, even if it comps out low because it's really easy to list. Most of them have a barcode and they just will typically sell. So new old stock, I pick it up. And you'll see what I'm talking about. There's quite a few items that I picked up today that are new old stock that don't comp out very high. I am fine with listing bread and butter items. To me, bread and butter is anything that I sell for $35 or less. I did pick these up. They comped out really well. I got them home. I had my husband plug them in and they did not work. So unfortunately, those went into the trash can. He's like, you can part it out. I'm like, I'm not parting it out. I already threw them away. So that was a complete bummer because when I looked those up at the bins, I thought, yes, home run, because they probably cost me like 50 cents. Okay, I found this, and I was kind of excited. I thought that, you know, it was going to comp out pretty good. It said Disney, it said Pandora, and comps are not that great. So I am going to list that one on Poshmark, because sometimes you can price up a little higher on Poshmark, and Disney, Pandora, I just feel like it might fit into that Poshmark um, market more than eBay. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to do. All right. So just kind of looking through the bags again, a lot of people just go straight for the bags. And when the bags come out, they are so packed that I shy away. <laughs> um, I did pick up this G pad. It will go to 35% off. My sale has not kicked in on that yet, but just a new with tags G pad thought it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that is on sale now. The sold, uh, the comp was not up yet. Not the comp, the sale price, sorry. Um, if you can find straw hats that are nice quality and a good brand, definitely pick those up. They do very well. I learned that from Butterfly Hustles and I have sold so many straw hats. Uh, that one I did not pick up. Now this one, Oh my goodness. This comps out between $30 and $60 depending on the style, but it had little owls on it. So I'm going to keep that one for myself for now. I may sell it down the road. I did pick up this little pencil pouch, just a bread and butter item. 
That was hanging on something else. Put that back. All right. I think there's one more bag that I grab. Oh, I did get this little 31. Again, another new old stock item. Uh, there were not any listed, so I am going to run an auction on that. Anytime I find an item and there are no comps, I will start the auction at what I hope to get for the item. And most of the time, my auctions do not sell because I do that. But what that's going to do is eliminate me from pricing that item too low and underselling it. Uh, because if I price it at an auction and there is um, a demand for it, it's going to get a lot of bids. If not, I'm just going to relist the item at a buy it now or best offer. And um, I typically run a sale, so I will price my items a little bit higher, run a sale, and then I'm always sending offers to buyers, uh, watchers, likers, depending on which platform it is. I always do that. And I have best offer on all of my items. I did pick up this belt. I got it home and it was not in as good of condition as I thought. So I ended up just donating that. So that was a bad buy. It happens. It said made in Italy. It looked really nice. It was reversible, but um, the leather was like pulling away in one area. I'm about to show you a Vera Bradley green quilted bag, which was pretty nice but then I got up to the strap area and there was some damage, so I did leave that behind. But I probably would have picked that up just because of the green. I just thought it was really vibrant and pretty. And um, yeah, Vera Bradley can do okay. Um, some people love it. I, I'm, I'll pick it up here and there if the price is right. All right. I do find a backpack. <laughs> I just can't remember when I found it. I'm doing the voiceover right now. I will look at hats um, right here. This is the backpack. I think it is super cute. Um, I did run that through the washing machine because there were some like stains, marks. Uh, it cleaned up pretty good. There's a couple small areas. I mean, it is a white bag, but it looks pretty good. So I'm hoping to get between 30 and uh, 40 bucks out of that, hopefully. All right, and I am gonna show you some footage from Dad Planet's uh, body cam. He wears one of those uh, GoPros, and he found one of the most amazing items. I just could not even believe my eyes. I thought I got footage of him showing me, but I didn't. So I'm like, send me some footage from your body cam. So he did, so I'm gonna show you that, but just stay tuned. It's so exciting. Um, I am going to make you go over to his channel for further details because it's just incredible. But I'm going to dig a little more first. Let me know in the comments if you guys see anything that I missed. I did look in this bag because I'm like, hmm, what's that? Nope. I have not found any money at the bins. I did find two nickels the other day. So what do you guys do when you find money? I know that uh, a lot of people will just go to the bags and search them for money. It's incredible and they actually find money. But what I was saying earlier is when um, they bring out these, like the shoes and the bags, I mean, you cannot even get in there. Like if you're not the first person there and waiting, like you're just, you're gonna be squished. <laughs> so I stand back and wait and go in after everybody's done. Okay, so this is footage from Dad Planet's body cam. And um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch here. He showed me this and I was just like, of course you found that bet the lady across from him was like, oh my goodness. I was over in the hard goods when he found it. Like I said, I stay away from the bags when everybody's bombarding them. Look what he found. Look now. Wait until you see what's inside. Haha, <laughs> you are going to have to go over to his channel to see what he pulled out of this wallet. 
This is a designer Louis Vuitton wallet. Incredible. I mean, just laying in the bins. So to see what he found in the wallet, go check him out. He's linked down below. Okay, so I did just show you a, um, my listing for, it. I think it was, um, was it a Bratz? I think it was like an accessory to a doll. And it actually uh, is a harder to find accessory. I think I'm gonna do pretty good with that. I do have it up for auction right now, um, just to kind of feel out the market. And again, if it doesn't sell, I will just relist it at a uh, buy it now with the best offer. These shoes were kind of funky. Um, I was trying to figure out if they're like man sandals or like a dress shoe or what they were. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. This right here is from the 90s and I figured out what doll it goes to. There was only one listed on eBay, so I'm going to try and auction that as well, hoping maybe I'll get a bidding war of like the two people in the world that have that doll. <laughs> maybe both of them will want that shirt. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anytime I find cross-stitch kits, especially new old stock kits, I am going to pick those up. So I left the one that was open behind and I grabbed this one right here. So pretty excited about that one. Um, it was Christmas themed, so hopefully it'll sell during the Christmas time. Now, I found two of these dinosaurs. They go to some sort of building block thing, but I can't figure out which one. I'm guessing they're just like a generic but not having any luck finding those. So I have not listed those yet. Um, if they're a knockoff, I will not list them. I'll probably just throw them in a toy box or something like that. Um, you saw the Febreze thing that I picked up. I did list that. Um, this is a, I believe it's vintage, but I wasn't sure. It's a Cleveland Browns magnetic bottle opener. And you can see here they are bringing out a new bin. So I leave where I'm at and I head on over because I want to be the first one digging in. Now, this bin was stuffed and I like the small toys, so I'm pretty excited about this, but it ended up being a lot of McDonald's toys. Now, this is an American Girl pup, puppy dog plush, so that was a good find. Um, but as I'm going through the McDonald's items, I see some of the Transformers and I will pick up the changeables. I think that's what they're called. They're uh, McDonald's changeables transformers. And I had some in my cart and I think dad planet had two or three that he gave me, but he was looking for another vintage McDonald's toy. And I'm going to let him tell you about that on his video, but I found a few of those and handed those to him. So um, we were both looking for different things. Both of them are Bolo McDonald's toys. So um, definitely check out his video to see which items those were. So those are my um, transformers that I ended up finding. I wish I would have found more, but um, this is a listing that I sold not too long ago. So they definitely do sell and are a nice bolo item. Uh, the one screenshot that I just popped up of the sold that I believe I picked up at a garage sale. It was in a video for I think four bucks. So definitely uh, good. Everybody was digging in these toys. Um, that was a little Teletubby McDonald's toy. I might throw that in a lot. There were um, some toys that I pick up and I'm gonna make some toy boxes. I'm thinking about maybe doing some whatnot with some of the toy boxes. That is a little cool little, I think it was Wendy's hat. I just thought it was kind of fun. So I went ahead and picked that up. Let me know in the comments, do you sell McDonald's toys? And if so, which ones? Now, I did find something else as I was digging in here and it, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Hold on, I gotta wait for the screen share to pop up to remember what they're called. They, um, they look like little household products, but they're minis, uh, mini brands, that's what they're called. Well, I did not realize that some of them are harder to find and actually sell for a decent amount on their own. Um, yeah, it's kind of incredible. So stay tuned for that. This right here is a new old stock item. So um, it's got the barcode, $10, $10, you know, I might get for that, 
but it's so easy to list and easy to ship. So I did grab that. I talked to you guys earlier about um, new old stock items, so. All right, gonna keep digging here, all these toys. Would you guys have grabbed all of these uh, McDonald's toys or would you have been selective? It's funny, um, I recently took my friend who is not a reseller to the bins with me and I had her source for me. So that video is also coming soon, but she picked up some McDonald's toys and I was like, oh great, some McDonald's toys. And you wanna know what you guys, they sold super fast. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. There's also gonna be a couple, two or three other videos that I did with her. Um, of us sourcing together and it was super fun um but she actually left with a cart full of stuff for herself because i'm like she's gonna be so bored i'm gonna have her source a bag of stuff for me and she was not bored i was lucky to get a bag of stuff from her so that was a fun video me going through the bag of everything she got i've actually um at this point in time already sold three items that she purchased and I don't think I showed those mini brands. I think maybe it's towards the end of the video that I show those. Okay, so I saw this purse and it was full of stuff and I kind of got excited. I thought they were gonna be really cool vintage buttons, but it was actually just somebody's button collection. Like, you know, when you get a jacket and there's a little cardboard piece with some extra buttons, that's what that bag was full of. So I left those behind. I did see somebody digging through them later on um, and they were actually picking out items. I don't know if they were gonna resell them or what. This here was a nice surprise. Um, I actually sold this for $13 and it sold in less than a week, um, probably a couple days. It was incomplete. There were only six of the shark pads in there. This um, is really cool. It's a Ralph Lauren uh, eyeglass case. Really, really nice condition. Really excited about that one hoping it does pretty well. Comps weren't too bad. This is a Starbucks glass, uh, like water bottle tumbler. Really nice. I think it said San Francisco, if I remember correctly. All right. I know I start talking about something and then I get sidetracked with something I pick up. So I apologize for that. But I want to give you guys as much detailed information as I possibly can as we are digging here. Um, I know that Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger sold a Bubba Keg that she got um, out of the bins. Do you guys remember Bubba Kegs? And I actually saw one. Uh, I don't know if it was this trip or another trip, but it did not have the lid. But I was going to grab that Bubba Keg. <laughs> I had a Bubba keg when I was younger in my younger days. <laughs> so funny. I can't remember what she sold it for, but she sold it for a nice profit. All right, I did, I put that back. I looked up comps that did not comp out well. So a lot of times when I'm at the bins, I don't check comps. I just grab it, fill my cart and go. Um, if it's a heavier item, sometimes I'll look it up. It just really depends on how much time I have, how much time I want to spend there, if I want to go to another thrift store, um, if I want to get home and list and actually get something done. So a lot of variables there. Now, I did look up the VHS tapes. Some blank VHS tapes do really well. Some do not. I ended up putting those back. Um, one thing that I do well with is cassette tapes, blank cassette tapes. This guy right here did not end up working. So what I did is I took off his battery cover and I am going to sell that as a replacement piece. Uh, this is just a little um, photo album. But a lot of times I'll do that with toys. If I pick them up and I they don't work, I wanna make a little bit of my money back. Is it big money? No, it's gonna be a major bread and butter. It's gonna be a long tail item, but it only takes me a minute or two to list those items. So I don't know, it's kind of fun to see if it'll sell. I'm one of those people where I'm like, I just want to see if I can get this to sell. That was a little Tykes um, phone, which might have been a good pickup, but it was, I think it had like chew marks on it. So I left that behind. This right here, oh my goodness, it's an amazing little plush and it's Nintendo Yoshi. So that was a nice find. This here, um, 
these are the bigger uh, mega blocks, but this actually plays music, which I thought was pretty cool. So what I ended up doing was parting that out. Um, it was incomplete, so the best thing I can do to get the most and maximize my profits is to part that out. And you will see me do that often with toys. Sometimes I just get in the mood to part things out. Some people think I'm wasting my time um, and other people love it. So um, let me know what you think about parting items out. I did pull that little guy off of that hat. I did not want the hat. Um, you will see me if I find a dollhouse that's in bad condition and incomplete. I will pull off the windows and stuff like that. I do really well with items like that. Some people don't agree with that, but what I have been told is once that bin goes back, the items that are still in that bin go to the dump. So if I can save anything from going to the dump, I might as well, right? Small toys, I grab them all. Um, that was a little John Deere push car. I think I'm gonna put that in a toy lot um, or a toy box, I call it, and sell it that way. But a lot of the toys I sell individually, if you go over to my channel and you watch my what sold videos, you will, get, you will see how many toys I sell. Um, it's just incredible because um, some things I'm gonna bet that you walk right past and you're like, I'm not wasting my time on that. Definitely check out my what solds. I think they will surprise you. And if you already follow my channel, you guys know what I'm talking about. I did look those up. Um, I I found, I think, two different ones that day. I put one back and I kept one. Again, they are blank media, but those were CDs. So barcode, easy list, look them up. Um, they, the CDs are heavier, so you wanna make sure that they comp out good. Um, otherwise, you might wanna leave those behind. So uh, different brands and different uh, features of the item make them worth more. So a simple barcode search and make sure you are looking at solds and not actives. This right here like said something freaky. I can't remember what it said. Um, I think I zoomed in. You guys can probably read it, but I can't read it right now because I'm too close to the screen. But something like it was don't eat out of this or something. Can you guys read it? <laughs> I'll just let you read it. I was telling everyone, I'm like, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. It was, it was creepy. All right, more McDonald's toys. That one was a Polly Pocket. I did grab that. Again, I'll probably throw it in a little toy box. I am going to do whatnot. I keep saying that and I haven't done it yet. Um, I do have a link down below. If you guys want to follow me on whatnot, you can join with that link and get a $10 credit to shop. And that $10 credit does not have, you don't have to shop with me. It can be with anyone on whatnot, but you do have to use that uh, referral link to join to get that $10. But if you guys would follow me over there, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I have uh, a, a state that I just cleaned out and it's tons of craft items that I wanna put on whatnot. And then I have a bunch of vintage clothing. So I have all of these piles ready to go. I just gotta figure out like the format and learning a new platform and I've just been putting it off. So for you guys that have been waiting on me to have a show, I'm gonna do it. I just haven't, I just haven't decided when yet, but I'm making my piles. I am making my money piles to list on whatnot. And I do have a video coming up soon where I'm going to show you guys all of my unlisted inventory that I have in one area of my house. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing this. And then I'm like, yes, I am. And I'm like, you better not. I did it. It's in a video and it's coming soon. So the before and after, oh my goodness, the before was so bad. All right cute little pair of red eyeglasses. Um, I've got those listed for frames only. I think I put those on uh, Poshmark. So I do sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, sometimes Etsy. I start my items on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross post. So start on eBay and then cross post to the other platforms. If you guys wanna check out how List Perfectly works, I do have a demo video down in the description of the video. 
And if you like it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. That little dog did not work, so I am going to sell that little bottle accessory around its neck. And it has like a color changing um, top that tells if the animal is a boy or a girl. It was kind of cool. I did some research on it to figure out what it was and decided that somebody might want that color changing bottle. That'd be kind of cute for like a baby shower, like a, a reveal or something. Um, a lot of times with small toys, I put cake topper in the title. That's another great thing to do. Okay, you guys, here are these mini brands, okay? There is a pack. Um, these are my listings and just incredible. These are older ones and they're retired, but that mayonnaise, oh my goodness, does pretty good. These Q-tips, look at the sold prices for this one little Q-tips. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I think I said, oh my gush, instead of oh my goodness. <laughs> um, little Duplo Lego. So again, I love small toys. I think they're fun. They entertain me. Um, they make me happy. And I just enjoy selling toys. So you will see a lot of toys and plush and stuff like that on my channel. But I do other things as well. Vintage, hard goods. Um, I did pick up these letters. Uh, missing one letter. And this guy sold within a couple days. It's a um, Boy Scout teddy bear. So that was pretty cool. And it was only 10 bucks. Now these, this one was a McDonald's toys. If you find the vintage actual, uh, I think they're called like Tamagotchi or something like that. Those are a big money bolo. When I first picked that up, I'm like, is it? But it was just a McDonald's toy. So I left it behind. All right. What do you guys think? You've got to check out the other videos from this same day. Um, I spent over $100. Um, I actually spent 70 the first round, and then I went out to my car, dropped everything off. I ate a nutrition bar because I forgot to eat breakfast, and then um, came back in and spent, I think, another 30 so dad planet was over in the plush i'm like get away from here this is my area you are not allowed at the plush no i'm totally kidding um i did pick up this uh little this is one of those little pups and it goes inside of another pup i can't think of what the pups are called so i just did that as a replacement so here is everything i bought in round one all right so on this round i spent 70 dollars. so in this video that was half of the 70 dollars Part two is in another video. And then I left, went to my car, dropped stuff off, ate a nutrition bar, came back in and shopped again. So that is a completely another video. So again, three parts for this uh, series. Super uh, fun. I love digging in the bins. I, it's, you know, I love garage sales, but I'm feeling like the bins are starting to be like my thing. Let me know in the comment your favorite place to source. Tell me how you found the channel and be sure to go over and subscribe to Dad Planet um, to see actually what was in that wallet. Thanks for watching.